This is what $100 get in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So wonderful good morning from Sao Paulo here in Brazil. I arrived this morning and I'm out in the city with my friend Felipe. What's up? So we're staying here in the Villa Madalena, Selina Hostel. And of course, first thing we're gonna do this morning is grab some Brazilian breakfast, some Brazilian pastry. So that's where we're heading right now. Villa Madalena and also Pinheiros, which are neighborhoods right next to each other, are pretty much the tourist hotspot where all the, especially backpackers stay. So there are a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars here, a lot of nightlife at night, obviously. Uh, and also it's pretty safe for Sao Paulo standards. So that's why I chose to stay here. And also the hostel, obviously, uh, was really nice. So it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning and it's already really hot, like 35 degrees. That's, I guess, like the high 80s or so in Fahrenheit. That's because here in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, summer's starting now. It's mid-November now. So when it's getting colder or it's already really cold, in the northern hemisphere, the southern hemisphere gets all the sunlight. Uh, yeah, so we just secured the bag at the Padaria Real and we bought some Brazilian classics. We have some coxinhas, which is basically, I think it's a potato dough, right? And they're filled with uh, chicken or chicken and cheese. There's a special cheese in Brazil called Capocuri. Basically, every Brazilian loves this stuff. This is like a cheese bread, Brazilian style. We open it. You can see it's pretty, it's pretty cheesy. You gotta have these two when you go to Brazil. There's no Brazil visit without having more occasion and cushion. So I gotta try those. It's a good one. I've had not so good ones, but Palaria Real knows how to do bunch of queijo. That's good. I love it. Also, Catabuye. That's one thing that makes me Brazilian. I love this stuff. Cheese, Brazilian cheese is, is amazing. All right, so we're now at Beco do Batman or Batman Alley, which is just a little corner here in Villa Madalena where people have just painted all over the wall because of just one tiny window you might be able to see up there. Beco do Batman, as I said, means uh, Batman Alley. And it all just started with people just coming along this, this street here and seeing the Batman window. And then for some reason just started painting more and more uh, until it became a tourist attraction. So now we're gonna take a few pictures here and then we're up to the next spot. All right, we have now arrived at the Ibirapuera Park, which is the big city, but basically the central park of Sao Paulo. So we got us one of those, these, uh, Oh, I need to take these. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> Last time I had like a regular bike, but uh, and I like these things. I haven't been on one of those in a while. What did they cost? Like 35 reais, right? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. For, so one hour is 35. We're gonna explore the park now. Then grab a drink. We have one hour. All right. So we just uh, stopped at a random place here, uh, next, right somewhere in the park. I don't know. And got this one liter. Coconut juice, freshly pressed for 20 reais, and then this uh, bottle of water for 4 reais, so 24 in total. So, after about two hours in the park, we are now here at the next place, which is Bashira ice cream spot. It's actually a Lebanese brand that opened restaurants in I think Paris and Sao Paulo just recently and it's pretty full inside because it's uh, actually quite popular now. So that's why I think it's just one of the things we should do in the 24 hours here in Sao Paulo. So let's head inside and grab some Lebanese ice cream here in Brazil. Alright, so it's Beirut, Lebanon, the forest, and Sao Paulo, Paris, Paris, Paris and Dubai. Nice. So since this is a Middle Eastern ice cream chain, of course their big thing is pistachio, since that's what they grow over there. Pretty excited because in Brazil that's not really common. Ice cream is really good, and the pistachio, you gotta love pistachio. Especially when you've been to the Middle East, like Lebanon and, and Syria and these places. Always a vibe. I love it, really good. 
So Bashir ice cream was a full success, 10 out of 10 full recommendation. Now we're back out and the, sun, the sky is cloudy, unfortunately. But that's not so bad because next up is the Avenida Paulista, the Paulista Avenue, which is like the, the one big street here in the city. And that's what we're gonna check out. There are a lot of nice places and one in particular with a nice uh, viewing platform on top of the building. So that's what we're gonna check out. And that's also a place where you find a lot of malls. So probably we're gonna get some, some dinner over there. So one more thing you might have noticed is that everyone says the city is super dangerous. And that is true to a certain degree. Um, here in this area, this is again the Pirafuera Park, so we're a little south of that. It's pretty safe, so the area here you can see there are also quite fancy buildings and, and normal cars. Um, that's totally fine also to walk around with the camera. However, for example, in the, in the city center, when you look on Google Maps also, there's a place called Praça da Sé, which is like pretty much a city center and there's also like a nice, nice cathedral. But today we decided to not go there because it's not really safe, especially in the evening, uh, but also during the day. It's not like you're gonna be shot immediately, but it's, I don't know, it's just not worth it in my opinion for what you can see there. It's not super beautiful. Uh, I think the, the beauty of the city lies not in the center, but in other parts. And the center of the city is a part where you should not show that you're a foreigner, basically. I don't know, or you have money or, yeah, it's not the nicest part of the city, to be honest. So we have arrived at the Avenida Paulista. And you see there's a lot of people walking, doing whatever. Since this is like the main street here in the city. People trying to sell you stuff, people doing anything. And we're now walking to this uh, viewing platform on top of the building. All right, so we just got in and on the right side of the lobby, basically, there's this sign which says they're not any um, spots available at the moment. The next one is now here at 7.30 tonight, so we're gonna download this uh, app, I guess, and uh, reserve a spot. Alright, so we just sat down here at this place called Mamaya, I think, which is basically like a buffet where you can put whatever you want and then you weigh it uh, and then depending on how much it weighs, uh, you pay. So I got this plate here with a few non-traditional and a few very traditional Brazilian things uh, and a Coke for uh, 60 reais in total. Um, one thing I want to show you is this pastel, which is like a pretty classical uh, Brazilian thing. It's like a Kind of like a dinner thing but more like a snack it's what you order to your house maybe uh, they, they do exist in, in, in bigger like they, this is a pretty small pastel um, but it's, uh, it's a pretty popular snack you could say here that's definitely all together with coxinha and ponche, and ponche queijo a very important thing to taste when you're in brazil they exist in, in with various different fillings and um, of course the classic one is always uh, chicken. Oh, and also by the way, I barely drink any Coke at home, but uh, just like I drink Pepsi in Arabic countries, when you're in Brazil, you gotta have a Coke. Um, it, it's kind of part of the traditional meal by now, I would say. Brazilians are weird. So after that delicious dinner, we're now back on the way to the viewing platform. We booked a place for eight o'clock. We have one minute left, but that is already the building, so. All right, so we just head down here at the cafe, still at the building, and last but not least for today is Guaraná. This is the most Brazilian drink you can have. Um, it's a soft drink in a can. Either you like it or not, but it's definitely some, like 100% something you have to try on your first visit to Brazil. So wonderful good morning here from the Selina Hostel in Vila Madalena in Sao Paulo. This is where I stayed for one night. I paid 187 reais for that. So for this morning I had a remaining budget of 38 reais if I calculated that correctly. The hostel is super nice. I just had some breakfast here at the restaurant and bar which belongs to the hostel. That ran me 35 reais which means I technically have 3 reais left for the $100 challenge. But that's totally fine and I would say this is it from what I get for $100 here in Sao Paulo. So in total, I got some bonji queijo and coxinhas, a passion fruit lemonade, rented a family bike for an hour, got an acai smoothie, some water and fresh coconut water, a pistachio ice cream, a buffet dinner, a guaraná and fresh orange juice, two Uber rides, a night at a hostel and a breakfast for $99.57. This is it for the $100 series. Next up is my 14-day Caribbean cruise on MSC Seaside.